I'm in Chinatown, and we're going to find a real Patek Philippe. You might be saying, but Ben, all they do is they sell fake watches. They sell fake Pateks, fake Rolexes all over Chinatown, New York City. If you've never been here, I'll show you. Uh, but no, we're going to find one. We're going to find a real one, and I'm going to show you where to find it. So when you come, you're like, oh, I could trust them. I could trust them. But yeah, let's go check it out. So the funny thing about Chinatown is it actually has all these different, like, essentially jewelry stores. Some of them are real. It's almost like the Chinatown Diamond District. I mean, you can just see diamonds and diamonds and gold and watches, and it's pretty interesting. And I don't come here too often because, generally speaking, it's such a tourist trap. So people think they're coming to the Diamond District, or they're coming to the, essentially Chinatown, they're gonna get some you know, insane deal on some 18 karat gold necklace. They're like, oh, I'll pay 700, that's a good deal. Anybody that works in jewelry or, or watches or knows that. But all right, so I'm gonna find some of these fake watches right now. But first, let's do a wrist check. I am wearing my Brew Metric. If you know me, you see me on social media at all, you know I wear this all the time. Very cool, it's like 500 bucks. You don't spend really anything. You don't have to buy a fake watch, that's for sure. Um, and I, I just, I, I love it. It's got super cool detail. It's, it's 500, I know the guy that runs it, he's based out of New York. Um, and you know, what are you gonna do? Argue with the price of $500 on a, on a really nice watch set. So next cut will be checking out some watches. And I'll probably get kicked out for filming because they hate that shit, but that's the point of this. All right, what up? It's editor Ben here. I couldn't get a great close up because they were not happy that I was filming. I walked into the store and they were like, yeah, we're not doing that. Let me show you what we have here. So we have in this middle section here, really the top section and middle section, we have all of these Royal Oaks. They had anything from, you know, full skeletonized Royal Oaks, the gold, the steel, whatever. I tried to ask them if I could see them and they said no, they would bring somebody from the back. It just got sketchy. I mean, you can see the bottom here. I mean, we have a ton of like I mean, Aquanauts, analysis, not really any Rolex I could see in this picture. I mean, it's possible, but lots of APs and Pateks. I mean, they really fake everything these days. So these are the fake watches. Take a good look. We're here in Chinatown. Obviously, they have watches, they have bags, they have all this shit. But what they really have, which people don't take advantage of when they come here, is the food. So we're gonna go get some dumplings. All right, so I'm not mistaken, but this is the place that I recommended. It's called Fried Dumpling. That's it. All right, they better have fried dumplings. Hey, pieces, 13? Yeah. Awesome, thank you. Five, perfect. Yeah. I think I have five, let's see. Got a ten dollar bill. Yeah. Thank you. So, Thank you, appreciate it. Money. Uh, All right, well, <laughs> that was quick as hell. It looked up, it was literally that place it was a hole in the wall. One lady, or two ladies in the back. And she just whipped out the Funkin' Dumplings. And they were 13 for five fucking dollars. All right, so I've been to Chinatown before. I'll tell you what, these don't look great. <laughs> they don't. I love, I love dumplings. I've gotten this deal before all over, but the place that I usually go to is a few blocks away. I'm just too pressed for time. I'm making a YouTube video right now. So I'm gonna show you, you're gonna be like, oh my God, Ben, you're gonna eat that? I know I am. So literally, they're all like stuck together. Like what the, f we're gonna eat it though. One bite, everyone knows the rules. We're trying. If you come to Chinatown, I'll give you if you should come this place or not. I actually give you the place called Tasty Dumpling. That's where you should go. Um, they got more selection. This literally had one kind of dumpling. Two menu items. Frozen or regular. And then sizes. That's it. One bite. It's actually not bad. Am I going to eat all these? Hopefully not. Will I? Probably. That's quite good. All right, after shit talking, I ate seven. I had seven of them. There's five left. We're going to bring them home with the wifey. Not my wife, but we'll bring them home to her. She'll eat them. And, uh, yeah. All right, let's go get that watch. Beautiful. Beautiful. So this is where we're going right here. This is where we're gonna find a real Patek. I've been here a bunch of times. It's gotten really popular on social media. It's real, it's real. So this is where I'm going. 
Uh, this is the uh, the place you're gonna find a real Patek. It's called Chen's. It's in Chinatown. It's really popular on social media. I don't think anybody in YouTube has been talking about it, so I'll be the first one. But uh, let's go check it out. I got a couple watches for him to actually repair, which should be interesting. So uh, he's right. That's him, right there. There he is, Igor Chen, whatever you want to call him. So let's go check it out. Wait for 20 minutes. What's up? Yeah, and I'm going to look around, too. This place got the coolest shit, I swear to God. I'm going to show you a couple of my favorites. Wolfgang Cricket. Lisa, right? Let's have a couple this right there. So cool down here. Fine paddock. Universal Genevs. Did you see some basic dials? Or, or how? It's like 40s Omegas. So this is, to my knowledge, a JLC. And the time is all these diamonds. So cool. Super rare. These coin watches should get popular soon. But it's a little brumetric. That's hot. Do you have any Patek in here? No. Oh, not right now? Yeah, none right now. Dang. Do you know what um, watch that is? Is that a Black P58? I can't tell. Can I see it? This one come with the paper and box. Papers and box. Yeah, with everything yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Not the little watches, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just a 39. How much is this? Asking for us 38. <laughs> At place number one, we got one more place. Might have a paddock. Um, I thought I saw one in there, and she was like, "She's like, oh, we don't, we don't have any." But you look right down, and I could see one. But I wasn't gonna push it because she was so adamant that they didn't have one. You could hear that video, so we'll go check out this next place. Fine. Hi, how are you? Good. You guys have any? Um, I'm doing a little video. Do you have any Patek in here or no? Uh, only one Patek lady. Can I see it? Yeah. It's for it's for like I just want to have it see it for a video. Can I, I can I take a video of it? Is that okay? Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, cool, yes. cool. So you found it. Beautiful. This is eight. Oh, this is heavy. You can tell. Yeah. Yeah, from nineties. Ninety. How much is it? Uh, eight thousand five hundred. It's not bad. All right, so we saw the ladies Patek. We saw Rolex. We saw Omega. <laughs> Lots of Omega. <laughs> And yeah, that was fun. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do next vlog, so uh, you comment below any suggestions you want me to see. And uh, peace out. <laughs>